I'm in Montreal walls. Like, that's just insane. We are currently at the Airbnb kind of thing, so I'm pretty tired. Jet lag, whatever. Um, everything went fine. The flight went fly. Uh, went fly. Well, went fine, etc., etc. Then uh, we took the bus. I asked for a Canadian number. You know, to have that uh, whenever I go, not to get lost, etc., etc. New phone number. We took the bus. We found the Airbnb. We had to wait like half an hour outside minus 20 uh, for us to get in because check-in time kind of thing, whatever. Uh, we warmed up and then we left for the uh, Provigo supermarket kind of thing. We bought uh, fruit here. We bought a few other stuff as well, like pistachio and chips. As you can see, this is a kitchen. The entry is over there. The shower. My cousin is taking a shower. Um, this is gonna be my bed here. And as you can see, I'm all settling. <laughs> I'm not moving. And yeah. Here. But for tonight, I'm gonna we're gonna watch Netflix and sleep and yeah, but I'm in Montreal. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Rain cold walls. <sighs> I mean, freaking cold. Colder than Belgium, that's what I meant. <laughs> Euh, on dirait foot, non Vu euh, les, la taille des gaules. sleeping it's like no not even 6 a.m but i don't know what to tell you actually because this city is amazing and i'm trying to vlog as much as possible but i just want to watch everything and just focusing on memorizing everything and not especially recording but yeah that's pretty much it so what did we do? So we arrived on Friday, Friday jet lag and travel. We were like out. Saturday, which was yesterday, what did we do? We did some shopping, uh, we went to the Eaton Center and that was so weird because actually when I was living in Toronto, 
the shopping center, the mall I was going to every single time was the Eaton Center. And here it's also Eaton Center. So yeah, discovering stuff. Uh, but we did that. Um, what did we do? We walked a lot with my cousin to take pictures and to see around the city. Um, we did a lot of walking yesterday, shopping, stuff to eat. We ate a poutine yesterday. And that's pretty much it. So today the plan is probably to uh, go buy some food, like and eat salad and stuff like this. If you're hearing the noise, it's my brother snoring. But we're gonna forget about that. Uh, so I would love to go so buy salads, tomatoes, stuff like this. But I would like to go to one or two museums today. The Natural Museum. No, that's not the modern art kind of thing. Um, museum and maybe the Macquarie Museum or I don't know. We'll see with the others. And tomorrow I will go to go. I would like to go to a long walk because we're just like behind us. There is the um how can i call it mont royal park and i would love to go there because it looks huge and on pictures it's just gorgeous and i think i want to go there so yeah i think we're gonna go do that tomorrow like one more day to rest one more day to just blah blah and um i will go i would love to go there and see stuff and normally on friday saturday sunday till like monday morning something like that we're gonna go to quebec i think we still have to buy the bus ticket kind of thing but we'll probably do that but yeah uh so now i'm gonna try to uh edit the vlog for tomorrow because i was supposed to edit all my videos but i didn't do them but i'm gonna try to do them here if not it's okay <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna try to do that and continue reading because in the plane um, during the flight I've read almost half of Hearts of Fears and Lonely is that the sequel to A Curse of Dark and Lonely? The Hearts of Fears and Broken? Hearts of Fears, whatever, you know, the sequel to A Curse of Dark and Lonely I'm liking it, but not as much as the first one, but as easy to read as the first one, so that's good but yeah, I'm gonna leave you now and edit this and talk to you later, girls. I hope you get. And yeah, I'm a bit absent of all socials, but you can understand, right? <laughs>
Hugo. Mais là, il n'y a, a pas d'autre, il n'y a rien. Je ne sais pas si bien familier avec les gens. Il faut a fait ça pour que ne pas Là, il n'a pas C'est moi qui pose le mot. Ah, il y en a un derrière toi. Ne te saisis pas. Hello world, what's up? So I know I don't talk to you a lot in this vlog or whatever, but I'm just trying to enjoy as much as possible Montreal and to show you as many nice places as possible as well. But yesterday was amazing. We went to uh, Montreal. I mean, Mont Real, Real Mont. I don't know how you say that in English. Uh, but we walked a lot and then we went to um, the island. I don't know how you say that in English as well, but Jean Drapeau. And uh, it was amazing, snow everywhere. It just, it's heaven, it's winter wonderland, like for sure. It's just amazing to be here. Honestly, I think I love Toronto more because I know Toronto, like, or I knew at least. And it was so much easier to walk because everything was like square, or whatever. Here, it's more like a mix of. North American and European kind of structure and it's easier to get lost but still very easy to find your way kind of thing whatever um, I love the people here and honestly I'm surprised because uh, when I knew I was coming here I was prepared to only deal with Canadian French here but actually everyone speaks like English that's just insane, like, whenever I go to the store, like, the first person's gonna be uh, talking in French and then the second one in English and then people in the street or whatever, they all speak like I will say that the majority of people I'm hearing speak English, which is just insane. I was expecting just the opposite, but it's absolutely fine to be here a non-French speaking person and live here normally like not like a tourist kind of thing so that actually really surprised me 
I was expecting so much more like French, Canadian French than anything else here, but actually it's not the case, so that's a good surprise as well. I really love the city, it's a very cute city, there is a ton of stuff to do apparently. We did like a museum, we walked a lot, we went to the Montreal, we went to um, Jean Drapeau, we visited the city in general. Uh, today I think we're gonna try to go to the botanical garden, botanic garden kind of thing, and then the planetarium, and how oh, that's wrong. I'm not getting sick, I swear, I'm just like tired. And yeah, it's, um, oops, it's amazing here. And especially because we are really downtown, but downtown means a lot of noises at night as well. So it's not the most effective way to get some rest, but I'm not going to complain because we're downtown and saving so much money on transport because we can walk anywhere except that yesterday we took the subway um the metro uh to go to jean drapeau uh you know on the island with the biosphere etc etc if you're from montreal you probably know what i'm talking about it's just amazing we are so busy all the time i cannot even read whatever like we're really busy uh, going from one place to another we try the poutine we went to Cora for breakfast, um, we went to Tim Horton for a hot chocolate, um, and yeah, we did some other Canadian stuff, etc. So we'll see what we're gonna do, but now it's actually snowing, that makes me so happy to just see snow falling and falling, it's supposed to fall all day, so that's gonna be amazing, I love it so much. Um, so yeah. Because there, there is snow everywhere, but I just wanted to experience the snowfall here. I know it's ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, know that if I'm not talking to you a lot, that's just because I'm enjoying everything. And because I don't want to bother my brother, my cousin, when talking to the camera kind of thing. I know it, it doesn't bother them, but I don't want to make them uncomfortable kind of thing. But yeah, it's amazing, it's gorgeous, it's an amazing city, I really love this city. But yeah, my heart belongs to Toronto, in some way. Um, but I think I could go anywhere in Canada because the people are so amazing everywhere. So yeah, we'll see. I should go back to Toronto holidays but I also want to see Central uh, you know in Newfoundland and Labrador I would like to see Banff in um, where is it Alberta uh, Vancouver of course in British Columbia I would like to see the north like the north of the north you know northern uh, Canada I will love to see them even if people like don't go there, it's too dark all the time or too bright all the time. It's people are not happy there or whatever. I'm just like I wanna see it by myself. I wanna see it for myself, not by myself. But it's just amazing. I love this country so much. There is so much to do. And like you could travel for an hour and still be that country and I know to some people it could sound like annoying or whatever, but in Belgium you drive for an hour. You might be in I don't know, the Netherlands, or Germany, or France, Luxembourg, kind of thing, you know, you can see, that's good because you can travel through different countries in a little amount of time, but also like being in the same country and traveling for hours and seeing so many different things makes your country richer, kind of thing, with so much more to see, but yeah. I'm a fan of Canada, you know that. But yeah, I'm gonna finish my episode of Van Helsing uh, while my brother is waking up because he's still sleeping, kind of thing. I mean, until he's waking up. And then we're gonna go to the botanical garden or botanic garden kind of thing. And yeah, I'm so happy here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And you know, what's good is that the cold stuffs my head 
from having headaches stops me from having huge and strong headache which is just amazing and such a relief like you have no idea but yeah i will talk to you soon Oops. I look like shit but please don't mind it it's Monday so I didn't wrap up the vlog yesterday so I'm gonna do it now I'm not speaking loudly because people are, uh, are speaking wow I'm sleeping um, but this is the end of my first week in Montreal so today uh, we're gonna take the bus to go to Quebec to I mean until Wednesday noon I think kind of thing then we're coming back here in Montreal and we get we got a flight on Friday, 7 p.m. Canadian time. So, yeah, it's good that we're going away for three days, like one day and a half, like almost two days kind of thing. Just because I feel like we've done everything here. No, we didn't visit everything. Like, we didn't visit the zoo. We didn't visit, like, um, the garden kind of thing, biosphere, whatever. There is a lot of stuff we didn't do. Uh, but I feel like it's gonna be a good change because two weeks in the same city as a tourist is maybe not the best I don't know it really depends um, But I'm glad we're gonna move because Quebec is definitely a very nice city as well um, So we're gonna give it a shot and yeah, that's pretty much it My impression on Quebec is that I'm still shocked that I don't hear that much French outside, like I'm mostly hearing English or any other Asian languages and I don't know, the, in my mind Quebec was a French, I mean Montreal was a French city and it seems like it's barely it, maybe because it's really touristic and so they could, I don't know, they speak English or maybe because the Quebec people are not living downtown uh, because we are really downtown like the street there is St. Catherine Street so you know we are very downtown um, and I don't know that's weird I was expecting more Quebec people here like people from Montreal or people from everywhere in Quebec but I was expecting so much more French actually and that's amazing that you can live in a city and everyone seems to be like bilingual kind of thing I mean at least the people in the store and stuff like this which is not always the case in Belgium like in case you don't know we have three languages in Belgium we have French, Dutch and German but when you go to the store they barely speak like French and Dutch so don't even ask about German so that's nice to see that here most people are bilingual in the stores or even in Tim Hortons etc etc so that I love but I was expecting Montreal to be really different actually I'm not like disappointed or anything I, it's just not what I was expecting um, but it's, it's a nice city like I really love Montreal because like the Mont Royal, Royal Mont I don't know how you said I think that I said previously Montreal but it's more royal uh, it's like 20 minutes walks so like you get there and then you have to walk again for 20 30 minutes depends if you're fast or not but I love that nature is close by and that you have a lot of 
parks etc around and you don't need like to ride for an hour until you find some kind of forest or wildness or whatever uh, which kind of was the case in Toronto because in Toronto you had a lot of parks everywhere but you had to drive to get in the wild if that makes any sense um, so Montreal is nice for that but my heart belongs to Toronto um, so far We'll see with Quebec, but I really love the infrastructure here and I love the architecture because you can see very old buildings and you can see new buildings, you know, very modern ones. And what I love also, like when you go to old Montreal, it really looks like like old parts of Belgium, of France, etc., which is super nice. Like old buildings, old little houses, etc., you know, the bricks, etc., etc. Really looks amazing. It really looks cute. Whether it's during the day or at night when you're visiting, it really, it's really cute. And I don't know, I love it. We went skating as well, but I didn't. I mean, ice skating, but I didn't record it. I have some photos I will maybe put here. Um, yeah, we did a lot of stuff actually, museums, etc. But I stopped recording at some point because it was always the same kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I will try to do my next vlog differently kind of thing for Quebec. But yeah, it's good. I'm happy. I visit Montreal. I still have a few stuff that I'm gonna do on Wednesday and Thursday. No, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Whatever. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Probably. I'm probably forgetting to tell you stuff, but I'm gonna wrap up that vlog and maybe say it to the other vlog. But yeah. Nice city. A lot of people. But I feel like the crowd is well managed here. I don't see like so much traffic. I mean, that much traffic at least. And a lot of strangers here, you know, like foreign people. So that's nice. That's a multicultural city as well. Uh, but yeah, not as much French Quebec hearing kind of thing. That's just sad. I, I wanted that more. I love that accent so much. And I wanted to hear it more, hear it more, which wasn't the case, but that's fine, that's fine. Maybe in Quebec, maybe in Quebec. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up that vlog. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm gonna try to edit a bit now, but I think it's gonna be a mess. But yeah, wolves. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, wolves. Bye. I hope you're gonna be able to hear me because I'm really not talking loudly. <laughs>